guys, it's Darlene and welcome to my channel. All right, so for today, so today was the first day that I got to go shop for the Nordstrom's anniversary sale. I'm going to say it's a little frustrating because there are things that are already sold out and as we go through, I'm hoping that um and the right thing to do would be to replenish because if I show you something and then it's sold out or any other influencer shows you something and it's sold out, it just doesn't seem very fair to me. So I've noticed uh, this is my third anniversary sale that I've done and I think that it, I feel like it gets progressively worse. Um, obviously there's a pandemic going on so it was a little different this year. But um, I did, uh, so at 8.30 this morning I was able to shop so I put the majority of items will be shipped. There were some things that um, were in, available at my store so I went in and then while they were getting those ready I actually just did a brief little look uh, through the shoe department and through upstairs. So I thought that I would share that with you. So I have them right up here on this rack. There's not a whole lot to show you, but I did want to show you uh, what did what I did pick up today in case you like it. Um, I don't want it to sell out. So let's start with what I'm wearing. The way I'm going to do this is I normally split screen. I'm not going to do that. There's not a whole lot of pieces, so I'm just going to talk to you. Um, measurements are in the description box. The links to all of my recommendations will be in there, but I will put little check, mark, check marks by the items that I'm showing you today so that you don't have to sift through. But everything is broken out by category. I will put the price here, the sale price, as well as the original price. Go ahead and start. So I actually purchased this top in the leopard print and um, in the animal print, but when I saw this in store, this is a beautiful color, y'all. I don't think that the uh, catalog or online does it justice. It is this gorgeous salmon color. This is the one with the little buttons on the sleeve that I had showed you. Super, super soft, crew neck. Um, I'm wearing a small, you can see it's nice and long. Um, so if you want to be a front tucker, which I normally am, but I actually kind of like this sweater and just, you know, smush it up a little bit. Um, this is a gorgeous color for fall. I mean, just so beautiful. So I love this. I'm glad that I got it in this color. I recommend this one. This is super, super soft. Then the jeans that I'm wearing, I talk about wit and wisdom every year. They're my favorite. I have to send them back and get another size. This is a size six. Always size down at least one size, sometimes two sizes with Wit and Wisdom, the absolution. So you can see there's just too much room here in the back. Here, So you can see there's just this little bit of distressing here, which is really, really cute. Um, the boots that I'm wearing are the Bjorn boots. I picked these up last year, but I wanted to show these to you. They are so great. They're very rustic, uh, very casual, and I think they're so cute. This, it's a raw hem. And then it has this tiny little slit right here. Uh, super cute. Just a slight distressing, so a little bit edgy and not too bad. This one is from BP. I got it in a size small. I could have gone small or medium. It's that like cable knit feel. And this oatmeal color is gorgeous. And I just like the detail on it. Um, I don't have this color. The sleeve length is nice and long. You can see this is a small, so it fits just perfect. It, this one doesn't have pockets, but I like that it's just kind of casual and streamlined. Yeah. I also picked up a cami. This was in the clearance section. I think I showed this to you. Look at this color. Such a beautiful fall color. So I wanted to show it adjustable straps. It's got the little lace detail. I wear a lot of um, camis because of my prosthesis. And look how cute this is. I mean, this is seriously with a pair of cute little booties. Um, I don't have a pair of brown booties in my... I'm filming in my my bedroom so my booties are in the other room but you can imagine this with a cute little pair of booties and I mean can you imagine going to the pumpkin patch in this I mean too cute right they had them in multiple uh, patterns and colors but I think this one is just stunning for fall and see how this just fits so nicely okay so the next little blouse that I picked up I had actually seen online and I was like mmm no, just not my cup of tea. And then in store, um, I said, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Now I picked up a medium. 
I needed a small. Exchange it for a small. They had a small. I should have probably just got both, but um, pulled up a little. I wouldn't have to worry about the prosthesis showing. So that's my concern. Um, but otherwise, if I if the prosthesis wasn't an issue, I wouldn't care. Super, super cute. This comes in at least a few colors that they had or a few patterns. This one is a black with almost almost an animal print sort of what it looks like but like super modified super minimal and then these are roll tab sleeves so you could roll them down and then you see how it's longer in the back so again if it was a size small it would fit a little bit better but you could even front tuck it a little bit more which is what i would do now um, really cute. It's a faux wrap, so it's not going to go anywhere. Um, lightweight, breezy, really cute. This would look great with like a moto jacket, long cardigan that I picked up in black that'll be here. I'll pair it with that. Um, so this is really cute. I really love this. I mean, it's just easy breezy. Now, um, let me show you. Okay, so then um, these are the Spanx. Now, these are Spanx pants. I have Spanx jeggings. I'm not really sure seriously what the difference is because to me they feel the exact same way. So it is the little detail at the bottom where it's just carved out. It's got a little, little slit at the bottom so that makes it really cute. So if you wore a pair of heels, let me just grab, I'm just going to say it. I really wish Ann Taylor had made these in a black, uh, these, uh, mules I would I would wear them I think they look so cute but what's great is I could easily wear these nude mules because of the nude uh, sort of uh, detail in the top um, but you can see they're the perfect length I am I'm 5'5 five, five. Um, like if you're 5'3 or something like that they might be a little bit long but um, otherwise they fit perfect and again they're Spanx come on <laughs> they make us look 10 pounds thinner um, so they're great they're a high waist um, flat front and then they have sort of those faux looking pockets. So uh, Blondo booties. These are the ones that I switched out because I had ordered the more natural looking ones away. I just feel like I'm gonna get more wear out of the black. Um, I love these, they are so cute. I don't know that I would necessarily, no I do know this. I would not necessarily wear them with uh, these. I would wear tall boots with the uh, leggings or a pair of heels. I think that's, what would look great with these booties not so much definitely for jeans um but um i love these let me show you a close-up of these i love the angled zip only one side works but it's on both they are waterproof because they're blondo and then i love the chunky heel and i love the traction on here so you can walk in just about anything in these and you're not going to slip which that's the thing that i really love about it it's a waterproof leather so i just think they're super pretty and super comfortable and um will work really really well during the winter time and switch to a pair of the black witten wisdom jeans so you can see what those look like I did not purchase them. I own three or four pair. <laughs> I went through my closet and I was like, I'm not buying black, but I want to show you what they look like because I 100% they're there. They're on sale. They're the best jeans, y'all. The absolution are seriously, there's no reason to spend $150 on jeans, seriously. So uh, let me show you what those look like. Okay, so same shirt. These are the Black Wit and Wisdom jeans. These are the exact same ones that they have in the sale. These are the basic black absolution jean. They're such a great jean. Um, and you can see that what I did was pair it with the Blondo booties. So really cute and I'm obsessed with this blouse. Okay, now this next dress is not for everyone. Um, but they have it in different patterns, but I went full on zebra print. and. I happen to love it. Um, so it is a mock neck, so it's not too tight, and you can actually loosen it because in the back, it has this cute little bow tie. So I tied it a little tighter. You can loosen it a little bit, so it's just a little tie. And then it does have a little side zip. Now, let me get real. Perfectly honest, I remembered seeing this dress in the catalog. And I neglected to get it because I do not like anything that doesn't have a zip. I hate putting things over my head. But I saw this in the store and I was like, that is so flipping cute. I just have to do it. So let me show you. I mean, I know, 
It's a lot, right? You guys are probably going, she's lost her mind. Um, it does hit you at the smallest part of your waist, and then there is elasticity back here. So that helps bring in your waist. The um, arms also have elasticity here, and then there's a little bit of a puff um, on the uh, sleeves. And then it is lined, so you can see that it's fully lined. So, uh, then I, what I did was pair it with the Sam Edelman boots that you can see here. These have the square toe and square block heel. These are only about two inches and then they have the zipper to help you get them on. And they go just below the knee, at least on me. So this is what they look like. Um, I'll show you a little picture of it. But I think this dress is really cute. Now it is a lot. Look, I'm not going to say this isn't a statement. <laughs> this is a statement. So I wanted to show you guys how I would tone this dress down. Because it is a lot. Look, it's like, here's a zebra, right? But if you pair it with a really cute moto jacket like this one, you don't have to have it zipped, you could just have it unzipped. And then I just put the Sam Edelman sandals to it and I think it makes a, just an absolutely beautiful outfit. Pockets, it does have pockets. So um, that is really cute. So I'm gonna look at the other patterns they have and uh, yeah, I will let you know which one I keep. I do not have thick calves. <laughs> So if you have thick calves at all, these are never going to go up. Um, and I just think they look a little frumpy. So these ones are going to go back. And I'm going to order the only other pointed toe in the um, pointed toe boot in the sale is by it's Komodo. So I'm going to go ahead and order those. They didn't have them in my size when I went into the store. So I'm going to go ahead and order those and um, see uh, if I like those a lot better. Well, I know I don't like these. These just aren't going to be for me. Now, if you like a square toe and a shorter heel and you have a very narrow calf, I have pretty normal calves. Then these will be fine. The last thing that I that came in today was a pair of joggers from Zella. So let me show them to you and then let me tell you my issue with them. Okay, so here they are here. They're super like, I mean, you could put them way up. This is a size medium, but if I would go to a small, I just feel like they'd be too tight. So they're super long. The material, okay, so they have pockets. Let me tell you the good things. Drawstring, it, they're true joggers. They're around the uh, ankle. Um, it's the material that I don't like. It reminds me of men's pajamas, that silky, super silky feel. Right here are what I got last year, and these are awesome. They're super soft. They're the right length. Uh, they have pockets. Uh, they had a very similar pair to go back on and I'm gonna see if I can order another pair of these Let me just let you know these sandals are on clearance for I'm gonna put it here because I can't remember and they have them in black brown and white So if you've been wanting these and they're so Comfortable recap love this blouse. I'm just gonna get it in a small versus a medium the halogen sweater love 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 they have this in so many colors you guys you got to get this this uh cardigan by bp gorgeous love it this is a must-have from wit and wisdom these are the distressed obsessed love it need to size down sometimes it's a six sometimes it's a four i think because these are more of a relaxed fit um that's probably why they're running just a little bit big the spanx um, and I love the little detail at the bottom and these are excellent to wear. The zebra dress, I don't know. Um, I had to have my husband get me out of this dress because it's so tight. There's no zip, the side zip is here. I need a back zip with dresses. I just do, or my shoulders, I mean, I literally was practically crying. And I'm like, if it's that hard to get out of, uh-uh, not gonna work for me. But if you don't have that issue, I think it's a really cute dress. Bondo booties. Um, I'm gonna play with these a little bit more. I think they're awesome and amazing. I have to say to myself how 
how much am I going to wear something like this? If I lived in Colorado or someplace that, you know, had a lot of bad weather, um, it's a no brainer. I don't know, cause I really like this size zip. They're really cute and I think they're really edgy and they're really adorable. So I have to think about that for a minute. So that is where we're at with this particular haul. I will be doing another one. Um, it'll probably be Wednesday that it'll go up. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching the first haul. I know it wasn't a ton of stuff, but I think there's some really great pieces.